Now, from ABC 7 News, continuing coverage of the Indianapolis Colts run for the Super Bowl. A championship season for the Colts as they clinch the AFC title. And now it is on for the Super Bowl in Miami. Yeah, we are going to the Super Bowl! Super Bowl! Excited fans practically floated out of Lucas Oil Stadium and they're ready to win big in Florida. And bring on the Saints, the team the Colts will have to beat to win a second Super Bowl in three years. Good evening everyone, the Colts sent the Jets packing and now the path to Miami is clear. We have team coverage of players, coaches, as well as fans, beginning with ABC 7's Day First. Thanks, good evening. If you listen to the surge of media coming from the Northeast, it would seem that the Colts were the underdog today. That's a favorite. Jets were young, a sexy pick, loaded with a great defense. But the Colts had the cool, steady hand of experience and it certainly paid off once again today. We'll show you a couple highlights. More to come later on Sunday Sports Extra. Colts trailed early as Manning took it all in. Mark Sanchez looked awfully good in the first half. A little down and out pattern to former Purdue star Dustin Keller. Nine yard touchdown. Keller, six catches, 63 yards at a TD. Jets up 14 to 6. Next Colts possession. No handoff. Goes to the die, who's immediately met by Calvin Pace. The die fumbles the ball. Safety Jim Leonard falls on it. The Jets uh, turn that into a Jay Feely field goal to make it 17 to 6. Now, just for the half, just like last week, the Colts get six. Austin Pally goes 62 yards with a couple plays, including the 16 yard TD. Colts hanging in there, only down 17 13 at the break. Third quarter, the Colts defense takes over. The offense settles down. Peyton on a fade here. Pierre Garcon, four yard TD. Colts retake the lead, 2017. Garcon with a monster night. More on that in a minute. Fourth quarter, Peyton in on a post to Dallas Clark. 15-yard touchdown. Colts take a 27-17 lead. Let's look at the man in sweep. Little brother Eli helping celebrate this one as the Colts go on to win it. 30 to 17. They score 24 unanswered. So despite sitting the starters in that decision back in week, uh, week 16, well, it all works out in the end. Certainly want to give uh, a lot of credit to uh, uh, Coach Ryan and, and his team. Um, very. Uh, tough uh, group of guys that played extremely well and uh, it made it uh, very difficult for us obviously in, in that first half. Our guys were able to hang in there and come back and, and do some pretty good things in the second half. Once we got something that we kind of liked, we ran with it and uh, the guys did a good job. We were, we were tough up front. Uh, Pierre was awesome. Kali did not have any rookie look in his eye all day. I thought a die and Brown were tough and it, it was kind of the game we expected. We expected a grind, a 60 minute grind and that's, that's kind of my word for the day as you can tell. I'm trying not, not, trying not to say obviously, it's kind of been a habit of mine so I'm saying grind uh, and uh, it, that's the way it worked out today. And obviously several good stories out of this coming up on Sports Extra. Jeff Saturday and Ryan Dean will break it all down plus all sorts of interviews from both on the field and in the locker room. We're back in just a bit. A pair of the Colts young stars made a huge difference in tonight's game. Receivers Austin Colley and Pierre Garçon, as you just heard, dominated the Jets defense. Colley caught seven passes for, 23, for 123 yards and also scored on a 46-yard touchdown. But it was the second-year receiver Pierre Garçon that had the biggest day. Check out his AFC Championship record, 11 receptions, 151 yards, and a touchdown. Peyton did a wonderful job of just making sure that we, you know, kind of got things rolling and, and uh, you know, just knew someone had to step up and, uh, you know, make some plays at the time, and, and uh, I'm just glad Peyton called my number. We have to help him help him out as much as we can, but we know he's going he's gonna to put it where, we, where it needs to be, and he's going to make the, all of the right reads. It, it, it's a great feeling to have him there at quarterback, and, you know, we just have to help him so he can help us and make everything happen. More from both guys coming up later. Downtown bars and restaurants were packed all day with fans on the edge of their seats. ABC 7 News reporter Tiny Spencer has the latest with some, of fan, with some fans at the pub. It was a roller coaster ride of emotions at times. The first half, I was very, very upset. But True Blue fans never stopped believing. And the end of the game was enough to make some feel like dancing. Miami! We go in! We go! The AFC 
win was a great birthday present for Jason Cooper, who turned 25 today. He plans to drive to Miami with friends. Miami, Miami we're tailgating. I don't even know if we'll make it into the game. There you go. We're going to go there. I'm going to go to Miami. I'm going to get alcohol poisoning, and we'll see what happens. The pub's owner will be there, too. He's flying down with a big group of about 20 tickets or not. You know what? If we don't go, we go to the nearest bar. We represent Indianapolis. We have a good time. But Can I go with you? Sure. We, we know they're going to know Indianapolis is there. The rest of us will be here, watching Super Bowl 44 on big screens, wearing blue, and planning on another celebration. Manning will do it. Manning will do it. Caldwell has brought in some assistants that uh, are, are better than our last Super Bowl team. I think we're I think we're better than we used to be. We're going to win it. We're the Blue Crew is already making plans for Miami. They partied for hours at the Blue Crew Sports Bar on 96th Street on the north side of town. Fans went wild in the fourth quarter when they knew we were headed for a repeat in South Florida. This is what they had to say to the Jets. We give it, we take it away. We gave them one, we're taking it back. Here we go, Here, here's the trophy. Lombardi Trophy, here we come. <laughs> we gave up our Vegas trip, we'll go to Miami. <laughs> well, we might be going to Miami. And for the fans staying in Indy for Super Bowl weekend, Blue Crew does have some big plans for them as well. They plan to set up tents and party through all of Super Bowl weekend. The other half of the Super Bowl puzzle was played out in New Orleans tonight. The top two teams in the NFC, the Vikings and the Saints, playing for the right to face the Colts. Brad Brown joins us now with a recap. Thanks, Minnesota New Orleans, clearly the two best in the NFC this season. Tonight, the matchup a lot of people had not only expected to see, but had hoped would come around. Brett Favre and the Vikings down by seven in the fourth quarter. It's coming. There it is. Yeah, Favre, five minutes to go in the fourth. Down a touchdown, hands it off to Adrian Peterson. There he goes for the TD to tie it up at 28 apiece. Now, the Vikings got the ball back with a minute to go. Had a chance to drive down and kick what could have been the game-winning field goal, but it's Tracy Porter. How does that name sound familiar? Well, yes, Indiana folks. Indeed, that sends the game into overtime tied at 28 apiece. Saints won the coin toss, and here's Garrett Hartley. 40-yard field goal is good, and the Saints going to Miami, 31-28. This is for everybody in this city. This stadium used to have holes in it. It used to be wet. It's not wet anymore. This is for the city of New Orleans. Just having the confidence in the team, just getting down there, sending me out there, and just helping my team get to Miami. It's all about doing our part. And honestly, this is a dream come true. And so there it is, Indian New Orleans. Parties on Bourbon Street and in Bud Ripple tonight. Colts and Saints, number one, number one. The Saints. Storylines will not be hard to find. The first Super Bowl for New Orleans. Colts as well. Peyton Manning taking on his dad's old franchise. Let the countdown begin. It is two weeks until game day. And look, we have the graphic as well. We'll have a lot more to come tonight for you on Sunday Sports Extra at 11.25. Dave First, Jeff Saturday, and Ryan Dean. Jason Spells with more from the locker room. Robin Miller, Roosevelt Colvin on our radio roundtable. We'll do it in about 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, thanks, Brad. ABC 7 News will be on your side in Miami to help cheer on the Colts later this week. So catch 7 for the latest. And that'll do it for this news coverage tonight. Dave, Jason, and Brad will have the latest on Sports Extra next. I'm Cameron Little. ABC 7 News continues tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Everyone have a great night and go Colts! On TV. Online. On your phone, on air, 24-7, ABC 7 News is on your side.